हेलो एंड वेलकम वेल द डे इज हियर द टीम इंडिया वर्ल्ड चैंपियंस इन टी ट्वेंटी 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 फोर आर हियर दे वन द वर्ल्ड कप दे वन आर हार्ट एंड दे आर दे हैव अराइव इन द कंट्री एंड वी ऑन टी वी सी आर डेडिकेटिंग द नेक्स्ट वन आवर कंप्लीटली टू टीम इंडिया वी आर ऑल ब्लीडिंग ब्लू दिस मॉर्निंग एज द रेस्ट ऑफ द कंट्री इन डेली और मुंबई डजन मैटर वे यू आर दिस इज ऑल दैट रियली मैटर्स टूडे आई एम सोनल मेरोत्रा कपूर हियर इन मुंबई एंड दोज आर सम लाइव विजुअल्स दैट वीव गॉट सम एक्सक्लूसिव विजुअल्स एक्चुअली दैर आर कमिंग टू अस फ्रॉम द एयरपोर्ट वेर द टीम जस्ट लैंडेड मिनट्स गो I'm Toya Singh joining you from New Delhi and what's really cool the the cricketers are actually going to be moving from where we are to where Sonal is through the day so these visuals of them coming in as you can see right now in New Delhi from just a few moments ago they've just landed in the airport remember we've been anxiously waiting over the last one week the world cup took place over the weekend every day since then we've had this question will they be able to take off will they not because hurricane beryl in barbados because Because of that, we've had our cricketers grounded there. Now today, it's not just the cricketers; media people too came in that same jet, and we'll be bringing you all of the stories right here on the show over the next few minutes. What led to the victory? How the players feel since we'll have top sports journalists joining us through the show to discuss all of this. But let's take a look right now at the visuals that we're showing you on our screen. These are pictures, as we said, from inside the Delhi airport that we're showing you. So what's happening through the day let's sort of break it down for you right now the team has exited the airport they have reached ITC Moria which is in the national capital and from there they'll be prepping up to go and meet the prime minister they have a breakfast meeting with the prime minister at around 10 o'clock or so and post that they will prep up again to get on another flight and come here to Amchi Mumbai where there are lots of preparations planned up through the evening you know when we were driving to work this morning we figured out that these visuals these streets are not going to look the same in the evening because team india will be on a victory bus uh, there will be a victory parade it is going to be slightly truncated than last time around just about 2 kilometers or so it will go from marine drive all the way to vankhade stadium and at the vankhade stadium which is said to be the mecca of cricketing here in the country that is where the bcci is said to be facilitating our players as well so it will be a day to watch out for an evening to watch out for and for all of us to finally soak it in to finally soak in that the world cup is back after 13 long years of wait I wonder how many of our audiences remember the last time in 2007 we saw a parade like this led at that time obviously by MS Dhoni in the inaugural edition of the T20 World Cup tournament today we're seeing this as soon as we're saying it will be slightly truncated so we do want to remind you of that it will be taking place at 5 pm today in Mumbai and joining us from Mumbai we have Kanav Bali he's here with us from Cricket Next Kanav a good morning to you a good morning to all indians right now we're also excited to see the team touch down they're finally going to get to meet their families kind of just tell us a little bit more about the history of this moment because in the match that we saw over the weekend so many records set by the team right now the team has touched down in delhi frankly you know it was rainy weather in barbados and unfortunately right now new delhi for everyone watching across the country equally rainy right now uh, it's you can't even see outside the window so they've come down to gray skies but lots and lots of warmth the standing ovation in the airport tell us more absolutely a very good morning to you and very good morning to all our viewers uh, this means a lot this means a lot not just to the players but all the fans as well as you said it was i think in 2011 also the last time that the fans saw a victory parade you know at the marine drive with ms honi and their team uh, taking a big parade in an open top bus and it has been a long wait it has been a very long wait uh, for the fans to see uh, the indian team winning an icc trophy and within this win there's so many things enveloped uh, Virat Kohli uh, has completed white ball uh, for him. He has won the T20 World Cup. He has the ODI World Cup. He has the Champions Trophy. Rohit Sharma, I think his emotions were very clear. The way he was expressing uh, uh, after the victory, what he felt. Hardik Pandya, the way he was crying. Just Pete Bumra, all the players, and it shows. Uh, uh, what it meant what this victory meant for each and every player in the squad rishabh pant who was hospitalized for a year and a half before this he made yeah. his comeback into international cricket and then to win an icc trophy straight away it shows that uh, what kind of a uh, hunger they had to win 
this icc trophy and for fans also as i said it has been a very very long wait as you can see the visuals uh, even outside the delhi airport there were so many fans you know welcoming the team and the people back here in mumbai well they are excited they are very excited they are just <laughs> waiting for the men in blue to land in mumbai and they just want to chant india's name follow the bus see the trophy because it has been as i said 2007 was the last time india won the t20 world cup and now again in 2024 india has won their second t20 world cup and uh, the fans just want to see that trophy once again and this time in rohit sharma's hands right kanav thank you so much for that we'll come back and sort of scratch your memory a little bit on the last you know victory parades as well